and we are back. And I just saw this one. I'm missing out a lot. Let me just see. Lone Star concern for public safety. Uh, something about trolls and race. Breaking news. Orc activist encourages crowd of 7,000 trolls and orcs to fight back against racism. And that's where we left off. Okay, so there's some sort of uh, racial tensions going on as well. <clears throat> Which is not as big of a thing as people think, but then people talk about it a lot, and then that creates racial tension, and voila. Oh, shit. Alright, I'll talk to her first, because this door doesn't probably doesn't lead anywhere. She's selling us drinks or something. Let's see. Jin Parks. The Asian woman's expression reads, open for business, but her demeanor reads, dealer rather than companion. She has a jack on her neck, a gun on her hip, and a chip on her shoulder. She eyes you with a sneer. You look like you know your way around. Need something? Weapons? Matrix tech? Show me what you got. Fichetti Security 500. Low-grade pistol carried by most Cards. Um, why is that sort of blacked out? Uh, like it's darker than these ones, for example. Um, here we go. A basic combat drone that every rigger should own at least once in their shadow career. I think a drone might be good. It's like, uh, especially if we get into combat just by ourselves, we can uh, send it in and I hope, like, if it breaks, it's not going to be a thousand bucks per combat. But it'll, it'll give us some more uh, room. Oh, simple drone repair kit. A standard drone repair kit that repairs a, a minimum of 10 HP. Maybe after combat the drone gets repaired or something, just like we do. Uh, AK-97. Makeshift homemade shotgun. So we have this. Let's see our stash. So we really... Oh, there we go. So we don't have anything else. I was thinking that... Um, if we have a pistol, we don't need to reload. So it would mean that um, we get to finish someone off uh, by firing one burst with our SMG and then finishing them off with a pistol. The damage is the same, but uh, this one fires three shots as this one fires one. So that's 10 shots and that's 12 shots from this so that I could keep firing um, basically but then again like if you reload and fire three shots with the um, SMG whoops then uh, you get more shots by reloading than you get from the pistol so under very sort of rare rare circumstances would it If it, if it takes one shot to finish someone off, it might be worth it in a sense. Because that it, let's say there's three enemies and I and one shot would kill um, one of them. It's, it's like one third of damn one third uh, less chance to get uh, hit, basically. So. And this one might be good as well, because if someone gets really close and I have to reload everything, it's only 10 Nyan, and I, I think um, if we just have it, I don't think it's gonna, um, it's got, it's not gonna like weigh us down or anything. Grenades might be good, but I, I think just having these things, I might find them somewhere too. Um... But, yeah, 
I might not need these, but it's only 110 for just having like backup or something. And then maybe if we get like another person in the crew who doesn't have a weapon at all, which would be weird, we can give them this or these. So let me just get these off of them. Uh, right, so I need to make a choice, huh? So the deck, um, I feel like I'm a pretty good shot right now. Like, um, I wonder how, how it's like meant to work. It's so weird. But I, I feel like, um, I'm a pretty good shot, so, um, I don't really need this right now, but like just having both of these might not be smart so uh, or, or like having having this one because i don't really this is well yeah because you can't run out of ammo either so yeah it's it's a little strange but it, it's only 10 so I'll, I'll hold on to this set of equipment and then we'll see how things work out all right i'll save the game here because we've already failed once Mr. Clue, posted at the doorway to the VIP section. Oh shit, VIP section is a tower of troll muscle wrapped in an impossibly tailored suit. In, yeah, whether the pro whether the product of good genes or expensive altar market cosmetic work, the troll's gleaming horns perfectly frame his face, and with uh, and his polished tusks and goatee accentuate the set of a, a lantern jaw. Welcome. Please behave yourself. Oh, I can just walk in? Shit. Funny place for the architect to put a wall. What? Will do. You get in trouble here often? Nothing a stern look can't usually solve. Have business here? Um... Maybe he's not that friendly with people because he was always causing trouble, but I'm looking into the death of Sam Watts. Heard about that. Real shame what happened to him. There is a sharpness in Clue's eyes. The look of a man who has seen much and earned wisdom at a young age. I figure Sam was the type who needed to be thrown out on occasion. Uh, yeah. You'll ever have to toss him out on his ass? In your role here, I suppose you often escorted Sam to the door. Yeah, that's the more fine way of saying it. Yes, albeit gently. Sam was a drunk, but he usually wasn't a violent one. Well, usually, what about the night he died? He was a bit agitated, didn't catch the specifics. Might have been over a woman. Thought I was going to have to show him out, but I had to deal with a couple of rival go-gangers posturing for one of the working girls upstairs. Jake helps Sam out instead. Right. I appreciate you talking with me. Happy to help. It's like the first normal person I've met. Amazing. Mm, he's got the stuff on his left arm and he's not wearing robes or anything. Noog. This is Kubota. The upstairs. Johnny Clean, hello? The man is dressed like a janitor, but is wearing unusually clean overalls. He's tall, rail thin, and has a cunning look in his eye that says he's more than just a maintenance man. Howdy, the name's Johnny Clean. You knew? Um, I am. Imagine you've seen all sorts of things in a place like this. I'm just getting a look at the place. Well, enjoy yourself. This looks like your type of place. I'm just sweeping up a bit. Oh shit, I should have asked him more, but... Uh, I don't know if he's like insane or he's actually the janitor. Who is Noog? Covered in glowing magical talismans and fetishes, the troll does not seem fully of this world. He mumbles to himself constantly, apparently participating in, in several conversations at once but with entities you can neither see nor hear. I told you, it's not like that at all. Bring me proof and you shall have it. I am honored, your majesty. 
Maybe he's playing some kind of game on his glasses. That was why I said to use mustard instead of ketchup. Forgive me, Gene. I was a fool. He looks you in the eye, his other conversation on hold. You may peruse my magical wares and see their glory. I'll just have a look, see what he has, but I can't use any of this, I don't think. Um, heal wound, power ball, like just having a basic might actually be good. Just something like this. Spellcasting 2 heals all of the damage from the most recent attack. I think that might be something that's um, good. It, it's sort of... Uh, in a way, it's, it's again like... Let's say I get really injured, I use one turn to heal myself and then one turn to damage the other person. The cooldown is two, so I can use it every second turn, so that's sort of oh, good. Like I said, I don't like um, magic usually, but I think this might be one of those things that could help us out. Um, on the long term, it's a third of our budget, so I think. All right, so these are consumable. So I, I think um, I think I'll get it later because I don't want to use the karma for it, and I don't. Um, I, hopefully, I can just get it later from somewhere. So that's enough of that. All right, let's get to the bottom of this. Mrs. Kubota. Mrs. Kubota watches you cross the room, sizing you up as you approach. As you get closer, you can see that she's of a mixed race, African and Japanese. Her demeanor says, this is my house, mess with it and your peril. Mess with it at your peril. But her eyes twinkle with a playful light when she speaks. Komawa, good evening. Komawa, good evening. Are you enjoying the seamstress's union? There should be plenty for a man like you to enjoy. Or is this business? Uh, I just need a moment of your time, Mrs. Kubota. I have topics to discuss. Soka. And why should I help you? Uh, Sam Watts. I'm looking for his killer. I'm not sure if she really cares about Sam Watts, even though he was a regular, but we'll see. Ah, so you are the little insurance policy he would go on about when he was drunk. His avenging angel would strike back from him from beyond the grave. What do you want to know? Um, this is actually what I'm interested in. <laughs> Why is it called the Seamstress's Union? During the gold rush years, there was a consensus and the politicians wanted as high a number as possible to gain power and revenue. There was a census, not a consensus. To bolster their numbers, they decided to include all the working girls, of which there were many, to the roles. However, given the times, they could not list the girls' true occupation, so they entered them all as seamstresses. Makes sense. When a girl accumulated enough money to open her own place of business, she named it the Seamstresses Union so potential workers would know that they would be treated fairly there, and thus a rich tradition was born. So you're a former seamstress? No, perhaps when we know each other more, I will reveal more about myself. For now, enjoy the union. So, <clears throat> how well did you know him? I knew him, we all did. Sam was a regular here. Whenever he got, uh, whenever he could beg or borrow enough yen to become altered in some way. Uh, drugs, chips, alcohol, it didn't matter to Sam as long as he was bent. He was always looking for his next fix. He clung to his place like it was his lifeline. He clung to this place like it uh, was his lifeline, and we trusted him as part of the f and we treated him as part of the family. Sorry. Even if none of us truly liked him, except Coyote. Did you see him on the night of his death? He was here, quite inebriated as he often was. Coyote was working a bar that night, and she informed me that Sam was getting rowdy and belligerent with other customers. Uh, 
When I requested he leave, he refused. My bouncer, Mr. Clue, just call him Clue, was off dealing with another issue, so I requested that Jake escort Sam out to the back door to the alley. That was the last. Uh, that was the last I saw of either of them. So one more question: Can you tell me where to find Coyote? Uh, would that I could. I have not seen her in two days. She's a smart woman. I'm quite dangerous, but I fear for her. Um, if she's smart, why fear for her? Because she's in a dangerous line of work and there is always someone smarter, more prepared. Her room is upstairs. If you, if you are looking for her, I invite you to examine it. You may be able to uncover her whereabouts. I would not normally betray her privacy this way, but she's missed two shifts now and cannot be reached on her calm. It is unlike her. If something has happened, I will not have inaction on my conscience. Here's the key. Thanks. All right, let's have a look. Hmm. There's a few rooms back here. This is a little strange. Everything else is so organized, but then there's like a flipped over plant. And I guess you can just hide this one. Doesn't really matter if it's clean, maybe back here, because no one else wants to come up here. Or no one else will come up here except for them. So I wonder which one is her room. I would presume it's the smaller one, but I guess not. Looks like Coyote keeps her clothes in boxes on the floor. <clears throat> Strange. The stand is littered with action movies and cigarette, uh, cigarette butts. A framed painting of the Chicago skyline done in stylized silhouette. Coyote's bed has a diary with, diary with several pages sticking out of it. Start with the first one, I guess. There's a receipt stuck between the pages and a diary entry. A receipt for a Browning Max power pistol from Jen Park downstairs with a note saying how big guns on hot women turn her on. I came back from my shift to find four of Paco's goons sleeping on our apartment floor. It's getting fragging ridiculous. I want to be with him, with the real Paco, but this Cutter Drek keeps messing everything up. I love him, but he's totally different with the gang. It's how I make cash, baby, he always says. I will try, I will try to, uh, I try to tell him he doesn't need the cash. I can support us both with what I make at the seamstresses union, but he still goes on these runs. With these bozos all over my floor, I feel like he's just seeing how far he can push me before I kick him out. I try to be patient, but why does it have to be all one way? Right. The paper has a handwritten poem on it and a diary entry. Let's just say that Paco should stick to guns and motorcycles and leave the poetry to others. That's what I sort of said about whoever's the narrator. Sometimes it seems like Paco reads my mind or my diary. Maybe he does the latter. I wouldn't be surprised. Hi, Paco. Ever since last week, he hasn't mentioned the cutters once. He leaves the apartment with a see you in a few hours, babe, and returns later without comment. I don't know if it's really going to help for us to avoid the subject and conversation completely. 
but I have felt better without our constant arguing about it. Uh, there is a receipt and an old photograph stuck between the pages. Uh, a COD receipt for a special order, five pounds of zebra meat from Maury's Meat Emporium, located near Pipe Place Market. The picture shows a young girl with caramel skin and dark brown hair. She has a snake wrapped around her arm, yet she is smiling. The back of the photograph has shadow crawled on it. Hmm. We're not getting much out of this, but... Um, she did buy a gun, I don't know, recently. A receipt for a wall safe installed near the bathroom door set to a combination of 342436. 342436. Safe uh, beeps cheerfully in response to the door, and the door uh, comes open. Uh, Fichetti's basic frag grenade. What would you like to do with this item? I mean... Swap with another item. We'll be sent to Stash. Right, so I guess Stash... The Stash is something that is not in, um, like, combat in that sense. So I don't, I don't think I need four of these and then one of these in, on me right now. Um... Send that into your stash. Weird having a grenade in your... <laughs> whatever. Um, so can I send these away into my stash? I guess I need to like find a stash first maybe or something, I don't know. Oh, shit. Tutorial, there's so much, so I'm not gonna go through that um, just now. Let's look at our computer. Coyote's computer is ancient, probably fished it out of a junkyard. It doesn't even have a data jack, and the cracked display is covered with fingerprints. Tapping the keyboard causes the dust caked fans to spin up, only to display on screen password. Without the password, the only other button on screen is a password recovery option. So my decking was... Uh, I'll leave the computer for now. My decking was um, at... If it was at 2, maybe I should spend it on this one, but I think it was at 1. It was at 2, so I need to spend that and that. So it would be 6. Hmm. Meh. Let's see uh, if we can recover. Please answer three security questions uh, to reset the password. Your childhood pet. So... What is your favorite musical act? Oh shit, shadows. Um, I don't have any idea about this one. I'm just gonna guess. Oh, we're not gonna like jam the computer. What is the name of your hometown? I think we're gonna get like locked out or some shit. Yeah, I thought so. Um, so, let me look at the items. Test tube, bar recipe, so we're going to have to look at these again. I think we might have find something out of it. Because uh, I don't remember what the picture was about. Whoops. Third page, picture. Um, 
She has a snake wrapped around her arm. So the pet is snake. The pet snake is shadow. Um. So there's not much. Not much we can get from that. Puckle, nothing in that, and then that's for the save. So we got basically one in piece of information. Hometown, I guess it might mean that she is from Chicago. So, uh, action movies and what was the other one? Cigarette butts. So we just have to guess one, I think, but um, Shadow, this one is that we don't know, but maybe she got it from this one. Uh, sweet home, Chicago. Shadow, um, Starfire. Your password has been reset. N Q P A B D S. -T oh shit! I'm not gonna remember that. For security, um, write down your password. I'm actually gonna do it. I know the the number was given given to um, us through the dialogue, but you never know. Like, uh, it's not gonna be too much of a waste of time. Um, but we might like it, it. Would be funny if we need it. But I don't think we are. But that's that's I think could be one of the tricks. It's like people think like I'm I'm not gonna need this shit, and then at some point they're gonna get asked it. N Q P A B D S T. No, she's not gonna be able to get on the computer either. The computer has a basic uh, list of applications. Let's check access history. It's removing this one. A quick scan of her recent searches shows that Coyote has been reading a great deal about hellhounds. It also suggests more than a casual interest in vintage action figures. Not sure what hellhounds are. Coyote's contact list has exactly one entry, someone named Paco. There is no comlink number or other contact information for him available. This does not seem like a very useful list of contacts. So I guess she doesn't really need any other contacts, but people come in over here and visit her. Three days ago, meet with Delilah about gig. Today, meet Paco for date at Pike Place Market. Due in 30 minutes. So she had... Um, a gig three days ago, or, or a gig to be planned three days ago. This one was probably put in. So I, I'm guessing this is today, like right now, in 30 minutes. So we should probably go meet Paco. Speak with Mrs. Kubota. So we have seven karma now, which is starting to be... Um, Quite a lot. Okay. What is this? There is a mid-grade security panel attached to the nearby door. It's set to require a password for ent entry. The decking is too, so I'm sure it won't fail. shouldn't go snooping around them. The stuff bear seems to be hiding something. Give it to me. Strength and willpower plus two. Charisma and intelligence minus two for five rounds. What would you like to do with this item? Since we are sort of, um, I don't know, like, <laughs> the thing is that they let me up here. <laughs> so they'll know, like in the real world, world, they would know that it's you know me. But then uh, this is a game, and this might just be a way to get more stuff. 
but I will treat this as such because I'm not familiar with the series. Um, so I don't know whether um, I'm going to get caught by something, but I, I don't think so because in the in the mor morgue or whatever, um, I could just take the health kits and nobody cared. So it's probably just for stuff, but uh, I'll leave it. Rather dishonorable to uh, be given entry somewhere and just rob the place. How can I help you? Um, have you heard of Maury's Meat Emporium? No, I am a vegetarian. Did you know Jen Park sold Coyote a gun recently? Uh, I'd be more surprised if she hadn't. Bouncers can deal with most of the troublemakers. But around here, you need a gun just to take uh, trash out to the dumpster. Uh, do you know Paco? He's a gang. He's a ganger, a member of the Cutters. He's a good kid in a nasty line of work. I warn Coyote against getting too attached to that type. They don't live long. Um, I don't need to tell her about it, but she's been open with me, so probably I should just tell her too. If you would go down there, it might bring me peace of mind. I'll call a cab for you. It should be able to get you there in time. Good work. I don't remember what gambate means. Okay, so we had to do that anyway. And there's nothing new around here. Um, Paco is a ganger. So there might be trouble before we get information out of him. So I'm going to save the game here. Um, I'll have a look at the karma. Because now I could actually increase stuff. And now that we know that actually decking is for hacking as well. Um... Decker's Expert Systems Program. So I don't know what these are exactly, but I guess they're for more complicated programs. We could take this one, just add a drone, but we need to buy it. Um, we could take, because it's a, exactly seven, we could get another Charisma thing, but I'm not entirely sure which one we should take. Um, I, I do like the decking thing, because it gives us access to things. Um, it seems to give us access to things like uh, hacking and things like that, so... It's pretty good, but I think I want to also survive combat. Um, this doesn't give us anything, so we need that one for the extra one, so we need to increase this one anyway if we want that. Um, quickness... Uh, not really that important body. We could get one and then save three karma. I'm not sure we really need anything right now. We could go for this, but it's not going to be... I feel that we just use decking. I don't, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to use it or if there's a reason to use it again immediately. I'm not going to buy the drone. Um... So we're, we're going to keep on. It's a lot of karma to just hang, or, uh, hang on to, but uh, I'll keep it. And I will see you in the next one where we're going to see what Paco is up to. Um, if Paco comes to the meeting, then um, he might know that Coyote is missing, but also he might not know that Coyote is missing, so... It's not really going to tell us much of anything except that they have a date. But uh, whatever happens, happens. I will see you in the next one.